that a lot of people have requested for this video on this channel for so long so today i thought it wise to actually bring it up and put it up over here so i'm going to show you how to design a simple wedding invitation card in pizzelab so without further ado let's get started good so i'm um, just starting from scratch like this and for this particular design we are going to design it in a portrait format okay so i have to change you know the background size i mean the working space we have to change the size of it so let's tap on this after tapping on it we go to image size and at the image size we have to change the dimension that's where the main work is so uh for the width we have to change this value to 994 so 994 that's going to be for the width and for the height we are going to leave it at 1280 so from here we just have to tap on ok and we are good to go so now that we've actually changed this what we have to do now is to change the background color and for this one we are going to use white for this okay so i would like to go with the main color not the gradient so i'll select white like this tap on the check mark after tapping on the check mark then i can go ahead and start bringing in the elements that i actually needed right so the first element that i'm going to bring in is going to be an image so i will tap on import and i'll go to my gallery and look for the image and don't worry i'm going to leave the link to all these resources in the video description so that you can equally have access to them and use them right so after bringing this one over here i have to stretch it make sure it fill the entire working area once that is done i'll scroll down to opacity and reduce the opacity of this a little bit because i don't want it to be showing up like that okay so let's let's see how best it can be so i think 17 is okay so i'll tap on a check mark after that i'll go ahead and lock the layer at the top once i'm done locking the layer i'll go ahead and bring in other elements as well so let me quickly pick it up over here i'll tap on import after tapping on import then i'll just pick up the image over here tap on a check mark and of course reduce the size of the image a little bit put it at a corner over here and see how best it is going to fit I think this is fine so I'll make a duplicate of this by tapping on copy once I've tapped on copy I'll tap on crop and I'll use this tool and change the orientation of the image so I'll tap on this one first then tap on this one again then after that I'll tap on a check mark and I'll bring this image to the corner down here like this and I'll leave it over here good for now i can just go ahead and lock these two layers once i'm done locking them the next thing that i'm going to do is to actually import a shape and for this shape that i'm going to import i'll give it a stroke of let's say one or two a stroke width of one or two and also reduce the opacity to zero after reducing the opacity let's just give it a stroke of two and at this point we have to give it a color and the color that we are going to give to it is going to be this blue over here so i can now go ahead and stretch this particular stroke effect to fit my working area as i want so let's see how it's going to look like over here i think this is okay per what i want i think this is okay so i'll tap on a check mark and tap on to back meaning i'm pushing this to the back of the design and i have to bring it on top of the background elements we inserted okay so literally i'm putting the stroke effects beneath the two flower images i actually included so i have to lock this particular one as well good so this is what we'll be having so at this point we can start entering the test that we want to enter to come up with our wedding invitation card design now the first test that i'm going to enter is um let's say together with their families so i'll put them together with their families good i'll tap on down make it capitalize tap on ok now at this point i have to change the color and the color that i'm going to use is something like pink okay so let me change the color over here and sometimes so when you're designing for a client the client may actually give you uh, their preferred color to you so yeah do not stick to one color you can play around with different different colors and see how best they're going to help you good 
so i'll tap on the check mark and after that i'll go to the font session and i'll select the font like let's say mtn brighter sans the medium one and i'll tap on ok then I have to come and reduce the size of this particular test again just to make sure i'm doing something pretty good not anything that to backfire right so at this point i think we are on we are on call so let me just bring it out a bit and i'll start entering the names of the people i mean the couple so i'll tap on test tap on edits and the first name i'm going to enter is jacob prince okay so i'll use jacob prince note this is just a design imaginary name i don't know anyone called jacob prince okay so i'm just designing for like tutorial sake educational purposes so i'll go to font and i'll change this font to christmas with calligraphy select it over here tap on ok and of course i have to increase the size of this text a little bit so that it can look perfect i think this is not bad this size is not bad so what i have to do now is to work on a padding of the text so that each part shows clearly right so let me do that seven by seven i think we are pretty fine over here and i'm going to use the radius uh, i mean the relative position tool to position it at the middle like this then push it up using the position tool just to make sure we don't get anything that will distract us so what we have to do now is to change the color of this particular text and i'm going to give you the color blue we used for the stroke after this i'll just make a duplicate of it by tapping on copy tap and i'll tap on edit once i'm in the edit session i'll enter the second name which um i'm just going to use a name like janet um, janet jackson or janet frank okay i'll use janet frank yeah it's, it's just a tutorial not like real should i say not real people well i don't know anyone called janet frank i'm just using the name for educational purposes over here good i think we are pretty much okay over here so i'll tap on a check mark and i'll make a duplicate of it this time around i'll edit it to the end but for the end i'll use this symbol i'll tap on done tap on ok and of course i have to change the color of it so i'll use the pink color that i used earlier and i'll have to bring it to the middle of the prince and janet i mean the couples so let me push it over here and probably reduce the size of it and let's see how best it's going to fit into this design okay so i'm leaving it over there like that the next thing that i have to do is to enter you know the invitation message and other details like the time and the venue so i got some tests over here i'm just going to use that quickly so for this particular test too i'm going to use the same font that i use for the together with their family so i just have to make a copy of it tap on edit and already i have the test copy so i'll just tap on paste and i'll paste it over here then i'll proceed so i have it over here i have to reduce the size of it let's see how best it gonna look and look at what i'm going to do now what i'm going to do now is to change you know the alignment i'm going to use a line center like this and i'll put it over here if the need be we have to reduce the size of it till it fit perfectly onto our design i think 13 will not be bad so 13 is pretty cool and for that matter we have to reduce the size of the top one to 13 as well because we want uniformity in our design we don't want anything haphazard in a design so what we're going to do next is to enter a test like uh rsvp so i'll tap on copy tap on edit then i'll just go ahead enter rsvp make it capitalized then bring it to the bottom right let's use the relative position too and just bring it to the bottom and push it up using the position tool like this so at this point we are going to enter 
another test which probably going to, going to be like full number of the people involved at the rsv session so i have a copy of it already and of course i used imaginary names and imaginary numbers so uh, i'll just tap on ok over here and of course bring this one down change the color to color blue that we used for the names at the top and make sure we, we position them at the middle just like this okay so pretty much this is it we are done we are done over here we just have to make sure that our spacing is kind of on point in the design that's what we need to do and we are done so at this point you can just go ahead and save your work and after saving it then you are good to go so let me just use the ultra as i always use and that is it of course if you want to learn how to mock this one up like you see maybe on a thumbnail then just let me know in the comment section if you want to learn how to mock up this you know flyer provided your client asks you for the mock-up version of it just let me know in the comments and i'm going to make just a short video on that like a minute video on that for you okay so at this point i hope you do learn something from this video and if you do don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to this youtube channel and turn on notifications so that each and every time i upload a new video you get to receive updates from me this is gosu here from serene ads and i hope to see you in my next video bless up Thank you.